What is the best way for the average person to train? You know, the person who can commit to one hour a day, maybe three times per week. That person who just wants to look and feel healthy, you know, have a decent level of strength and not completely die from running a five kilometer run. When I started my fitness journey, it was all about the gun show, the horseshoe, the teardrop. I didn't need my body to do anything for me. I just needed my body to look the part. And so I would do my eight to 12 reps, three to five sets, making sure that I rested at least two to three minutes, uh, you know, doing my chest and tri days, my back and by days, and uh, no leg days, of course. But really, the only thing I'd offer back then was the bodybuilding way of training. It was all about jumping on these machines or doing these circuits that would isolate one muscle group and cause that one muscle group to grow as big as possible. Hypertrophy, size, looks, that was the goal. Of course, there is always the cardio alternative or addition of 30 to 60 minutes of low intensity in the fat burning zone, just hating your life on the treadmill, the spin bike, or maybe even the elliptical. I used to train this way, hypertrophy, bodybuilding training, long, slow cardio, and I used to even coach it to average punters who just desperately wanted to look and feel better. Thank God, in 2009, CrossFit ruined me forever. I stumbled across CrossFit.com while I was on my break as a circuit instructor at a Globo gym. And the people I saw in the photos and the videos on CrossFit.com, they looked different. They were lean, they were athletic, but more than that, they had this infectious excitement and conviction about what they were doing. I just had to know more. And so that afternoon, after my shift at the Globo gym, I looked up my nearest CrossFit box, whatever that was. And I remember as I walked into that box, I was crapping myself. It was in the basement of a rugby club. I was used to shiny facilities with saunas and spas, beautiful shiny machines. This was a dungeon with rusty kettlebells and barbells and a homemade pull-up bar that wasn't even powder coated. I can still remember that very first session as if it was yesterday. It started with a Turkish get up. We had to work up to a heavy single for the day. I remember my entire body just convulsing and shaking, feeling like I was gonna explode as the coach made me do it in slow motion with a four kg kettlebell. I couldn't believe what was happening to me. The workout was then a five rounder of 15 handstand push-ups, 15 kettlebell swings at 24 kgs, and 15 pull-ups. I did three wall walks, 15 Russian swings with a 12 kg kettlebell, and 15 jumping pull-ups. We also had to do a 200 meter run after each of the rounds. I managed to do the 200 meter run as RX. Everything else had to be scaled significantly. As a young 22 year old instructor, I considered myself fit and strong. But on this day, I had to really check my ego because I was scaling everything. But I loved it because every movement had a standard to meet. Every movement had a progression. For all the movements, you had to learn some kind of technique. And so I went away that night and I couldn't stop thinking about this thing I had found called CrossFit. I couldn't wait to get back to my secret underground location, this box, the next day to keep learning. I was completely hooked and honestly ruined forever. Over the next 12 months, I was in the box every single day. I needed a muscle up. I needed a 60 kg snatch. I needed to be able to walk on my hands and do 100 unbroken double unders. And all of a sudden, fitness for me became about what I could do and not about how I looked. It became 100% about performance. But lo and behold, after one year in the cult, my body looked better than I could ever dreamt of. I wanted to know everything about this groundbreaking training methodology. This methodology that people were mocking, Globo gym owners hated, and fitness experts said that it won't last, that it would fizzle out within a few years. So I signed up for my CrossFit Level 1 cert, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that I learned more about the human body, about fitness, about movement, during my two days at CrossFit Level 1 than I did in my three year sports science degree. And so I went on to do my CrossFit weightlifting, CrossFit endurance, CrossFit gymnastics, CrossFit kids, 
I did every speciality course I could find. In 2011, not only myself, but four other trainers from the same gym that I was working at, we all quit our jobs to start our own CrossFit gyms. That is four new CrossFit gyms in Auckland within the space of like six months. We all chipped in to uh, fill up a container full of CrossFit equipment and got it shipped to New Zealand. It was really hard to find CrossFit equipment locally. And just before me and my wife started our affiliate in 2011, we decided to do a world tour, like a five different stop-offs around the world, because we knew that our life was about to change when we started this gym. And so as we went around the world, finding the local CrossFit box became the priority. Where we stopped, I wanted to find the local box and see how they did things, learn from them, steal all the good ideas. And uh, we found boxes in the back street of Milan, Cape Town, Barcelona, New York. I remember ordering a clock, a timer from Rogue, and I got it sent to CrossFit South Brooklyn, where I was training while we were in New York. We came back from that trip and started our CrossFit affiliate in Auckland, and the rest is history. From 2011 through to 2019, we poured out every ounce of energy we had, every ounce of creativity into our CrossFit box. And those eight years were some of the best years of my life. The community, the friendships, they were real, they were rich and people were falling in love with fitness again and they were achieving things that they could never imagine themselves achieving. There is zero doubt in my mind that CrossFit is the best way for people of all walks of life to train. It will give you a complete and well-rounded fitness. The variety and the complexity of the movements will keep you learning, it will keep it interesting for a lifetime. You will learn how to eat a well-balanced diet and most importantly, you will find a community and friendships that will last a lifetime. It has been 13 years since I stumbled across CrossFit.com and I am still learning new skills. I am still trying to master elements of fitness. I'm still gaining knowledge every single day. It is the reason why recently I've started swimming more. It is the reason why I'm doing more accessory work. Funny enough, using bodybuilding principles to gain strength which will then in turn elevate my functional movements. CrossFit is all encompassing. It doesn't shun or exclude any way of training or any fitness type, and that is why I love it. CrossFit has turned me into a hybrid athlete, able to do most activities at a fairly high level. It breaks off all physical restraints, gives you the freedom to say yes to challenges and invites. I think it's pretty sweet and I want to encourage you to give it a go. It might be in the bottom of a rugby club somewhere. The boxes are everywhere. Go and find your local box and give it a go. You won't regret it, I promise you.